Oh, here I am back in the public's parking lot. Uh, it's 5.30 in the morning. I'm ready to knock this out. But it's a great way to have some daylight when there's no daylight. <laughs> But I gotta tell you, it really made a difference bringing salt back in because I still haven't had any relight for electrolytes because one, I didn't bring any with me. Uh, yeah, actually I did bring some with me. I should have had some this morning. Gosh, I am such a goofball sometimes. Uh, so now that the electrolyte issue is all settled for me, as far as I'm concerned, it's a done deal. I, uh, I need salt. <laughs> I need salt in my water and I need salt in my food. Anyway. That's not what I want to talk about today. We've spent three days talking about electrolytes. I just want you to know that that baby's put to bed. And for those of you who kept asking, why are you even doing this? There are so many people apparently in the carnivore community who are making a huge deal about not having salt because apparently the vegans are complaining that you only like meat because of the salt. So they're going around eating raw food and everything. And I'm thinking, you know, I, we can go a little overboard with this stuff. I know raw food's probably not bad for you, but I'd just as soon cook it. And I love my salt on my food. It also treats my body the way I want. So I don't care what the vegans say. All I know is this works for me and that's what I'm gonna keep doing. I have one other reason for wanting to do this uh, test with electrolytes is that I kept getting told by my wife and her sister, who is a nurse, that uh, the reason that I still have dry, flaky skin is because uh, I'm having too much salt. So I had to disprove that one too. So it was a combination of seeing if that was gonna be relieved by that. But I also had done an iodine loading test last week. And I talked to you guys about that. And I sent it in to Hakala Labs. And they're at H-A-K-A-L-A labs.com. They charge 70 bucks for the test and they send it to you with uh, everything you need to do the test. As you can see here, I'm uh, working with this three liter bottle that I, I talked about in a previous video that's designed to catch all the urine in a 24 hour period after taking a 50 milligram uh, iodine iodide combination pill. I got the results. I am iodine deficient. The test shows this by saying that after you take that much iodine, your body shouldn't be trying to absorb more than 10% of it to get the iodine that you would want out of it. If you're absorbing more than 10% of the iodine, then you're deficient. Well, I was absorbing 37% of the iodine and I had been off of my iodine supplement for about a week, exactly a week, before taking the iodine test. So, it's nice to have double confirmation with two separate tests that some people still don't agree <laughs> tell you anything about iodine. And the one thing I have come to find when it comes to trying to get anybody to agree on anything and it comes to nutrition or medicine is nobody agrees on anything. I will say that I still have some symptoms of low iodine and that I'm still showing that I'm low on iodine. Now, Dr. Brownstein recommends going up to the 50 milligram dose when you're showing that you're low like that. I've been doing a 13 roughly milligram dose of iodine and iodide, I think it's more like 3% iodine and 12% iodide. But uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna up that a little bit because if I'm still showing deficient after having been on iodine for a month or so and then taking a short break, then that's probably where some of my symptoms are coming from. So I am going to increase the iodine. Now this is just me. I'm not following a, well, I'm not following my doctor's advice. I'm kind of following Dr. Brownstein's advice, but it makes sense and the symptoms match. And uh, I've noticed improvement ever since I started doing iodine. Uh, I started doing iodine more than anything because I was having the, uh, prostatitis issue that no doctor could explain to me and shortly after starting iodine the prostatitis went away now I don't know if it normally goes away quickly but the doctor seemed to indicate that it could be a number of things back when I was diagnosed uh, it could be bacterial infection there's all kind of things that can cause prostatitis 
So I have no idea of knowing the cause, but I do know that I saw relief when I started with iodine and I could see a difference in the bags under my eyes and my overall skin uh, looks and feels better. Um, I haven't been as itchy as I was before. It's just good to know when you're able to look these things up or have them researched with a little lab work to get an idea of what's going on in your body. And for me, the iodine is gonna continue, the electrolytes are gonna continue, the salt's gonna continue because it's all part of what I've found that I need to add to my lion diet experience to have optimal health. You may be different. I'm just some guy on YouTube, so don't take my word for it. Research it yourself. Look into this information and find out what you're gonna need to make yourself healthy so that you'll have everything you need to take on your day, to take on the challenges that come your way, the challenges that your family deals with, that your nation deals with, so that you'll be able to stand firm. Screw it, get up and do it, and I'll see you tomorrow. If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat? Well anyway, I'm gonna put my phone down for a little bit so I can walk where I can stretch my arms over my head while I'm doing this. Show you what I'm talking about real quick before I put this away. When I'm walking with this 40 pound vest on, if I can't put my hands up here every once in a while to get a good stretch, oh, in this area of my neck and back, whew, it can simply be too much. But when I get that little bit of stretch right there, oh, and I can walk for, you know, 50 feet like this or more and just enjoy this stretch. Oh, and it's really working on my core area and my legs. Man, it's good to be a carnivore. <laughs>